Row versus column table selection is a million dollar question. Do not worry, SAP Yard would help you make the right choice. When you know that most data would be unique like in the config tables or the value tables which for example has company code data or plan data which are unique or non-repetitive, go for the row store. When you know that there would be repetition of data in the table, that means you have opportunity for compression. In such cases, go for column store. Next criteria is, when you know for sure, you do not need any aggregation like sum or average or maximum or minimum etc. for the tables, then blindly go for the row store. What are the real project examples? Say you have a plant number 4121, another plant number 4200 and another plant number 4455. Even these plant values are numbers, you will never need to add them or do an average of plant numbers. Why would you do so? It does not make sense to add plant numbers or names. In such cases, where aggregation is not needed, go for row store. But in the transaction tables, say sales order or delivery or billing, we need aggregation for reporting and analysis. The sales manager would need to know what or which product had the maximum sale for the day. The delivery manager would have to provide the average time taken for the product to reach the customers. So whenever any mathematics is needed, column store is the choice. When you want to read all columns of a table, that is you want to do a select star, never do it in column store. It has to be a row store table. When you need analysis of specific columns of a table, go for the column store. In other terms, rows are less restrictive and columns are more selective. If you are not sure how the table would be used in future or what sort of data would be saved in the table, as a rule of thumb, just go for row store as it is less restrictive. Instead of doing a column store, if you wrongly set the table as a row store and then try to use the table for read and write, you are still okay because in HANA, the performance would fall a little, but it will not hamper drastically. But if you do a select star on a column store table, you are in a soup. Since all the fields of a column store tables are physically stored as tiny tables in the database, you try to do a select star, then it, it will have to traverse through each tiny table to return you the data. Try to imagine the gravity of the situation. Say you have 100 fields in a column store table. That means there are 100 tiny tables behind the scene in the database. Now if you do a select star, the system would do select from 100 individual tables. Naturally, traversing through 100 tables would have a negative, negative impact on the performance. The performance would degrade exponentially even if you have in-memory HANA database. So please, please take a note, select star is a strict no no in a column store table hope this short video would help you make the right decision please like comment and subscribe to sapr.com